Hello. Welcome to Wisconsin Points of Interest. Today is Sunday, March 26th, 2023. Uh, this park we're at is Lizard Mound State Park. It's named after one of the effigy mounds that's shaped like a lizard. It's located at County Highway A in Farmington, Wisconsin, and is open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. The gate is currently locked, but it's scheduled to open May 1st and stay open until about November 1st. According to the DNR website, you're allowed to bypass the gate and enter the park on foot in the off-season. This park is on the National Register of Historic Places, which you'll see the plaque in this video. It has 28 effigy mounds. It is one of the largest and best preserved collection of mounds in southern Wisconsin. The signs I'm showing were erected in 2012. Trees are currently being removed by the DNR, which can only take place during winter in order to avoid disturbing the ground.
An effigy mound is a pile of dirt formed in the shape of animals, humans, or other creatures. They're anywhere from a few feet tall to 20 feet tall and can reach horizontally anywhere from a few feet to a couple hundred feet long. They were usually built close to water or on hilltops and were arranged in patterns that were laid out with the landscape. And most of the mounds do contain human remains. In 1987, effigy mounds were officially protected as burial sites under Wisconsin state law. The late woodland people, which were Native Americans, created these mounds between 750 and 1200 A.D. The Ho-Chunk Nation considers the woodland people their ancestor, ancestors and also considers the sites as sacred. Conical and linear mounds appear in other parts of the country, but the animal and human-shaped effigy mounds are unique to southern Wisconsin and adjacent states. There were at one time about 15,000 to 20,000 effigy mounds in Wisconsin. But as Europeans settled in southern Wisconsin in the 19th and 20th centuries, they destroyed more than 80% of the mounds to make farms and quarries. There are only about 4,000 mounds that still remain today. The effigy mound builders usually buried their dead in small pits or laid them on carefully prepared surfaces. Along with the dead, they also buried clay pots, arrow points, and other items. Then the mounds were built over them like grave markers. The effigy mounds stopped being built about a thousand years ago. Nobody knows a lot about the builders. Even Native Americans who lived in Wisconsin when the first European settlers arrived didn't know why or who built the mounds. This is the best preserved group of mounds in Wisconsin. When the mounds were originally ex excavated, it appeared the builders lived in small groups and might have been the first people in Wisconsin to use the bow and arrow and other tools. 
The DNR originally made this park a state park in 1950. They gave the land to Washington County during a budget crisis in 1986, and it became a county park. In October of 2020, the county gave it back to the DNR. Since it is a human burial site, or in other words, a cemetery, there's no plan for the DNR to take the 32-acre property and develop a large, complex trail system like the other state parks. They are clearing trees, but it looks like that's about uh, how it's going to be. I can't tell a whole lot about the paths because of the snow. The other state parks with Native American mounds include High Cliff and Sherwood, Governor Nelson and Wanakee, Wyalusing and Bagley, Nelson, Dewey, and Cassville, Perot and Trempolo, and Aztalan and Lake Mills. Aztalan, I believe that's how you pronounce it, is a park that I will be visiting and we'll show a video on that. So for now, thank you for watching Wisconsin Points of Interest videos. I appreciate all of you. Please check back for more. Like and subscribe these videos. And make sure you subscribe so that way you'll get notified when new videos are released. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So long.